join me in solving Wordle 674. Of course, I'm still hoping with irate. I don't know if I'm ever going to mix that up. Like, I've talked about it, but so far it just hasn't been happening. I like my method. I don't know. So we've got I and a T. We know where the T is. Uh, I goofed up here. I've used Louie before. Rounds out the vowels. But it doesn't make sense here because the I can't be where the T is, so there's no point in even trying that, right? Yeah, sometimes you just get in the groove of things a little too much. Should stop to think a little better on that one. So obviously the I isn't there, but it it's also not the first letter. There is an O. It's not the second letter. That's kind of interesting. So, with an I and an O, I immediately kind of think like an OI. O-I. But it, you can't have that as being where you think it would probably happen. You could start with an OI, but that, mm, what do you do with that? It's interesting. A little tricky. Uh, Pinto could fit though. That's uh, using some of the next most common consonants. Ends with the O. I in the second place. Doesn't seem like a great one, but it tries a common pattern for the vowels, or at least a possible pattern. Hmm, okay. So the vowels are in the right place, but it's not Pinto. What else could fit there? I feel like there's not a whole lot, right? Ditto? Could be? Tricky because that double T. You always, I always try to miss double letters. Like I tried all other kinds of ways of filling stuff in. But this could be it. There it is. Four guesses today. Um, apparently I'm hopeless on getting my... Uh, my threes column back up. It's uh, now 173 and four versus 171 and three. Oh well. But hey, the streak's still going. 457 consecutive days of solving the world.